hello guys thank you for tuning in again my name is Kobe um, in this video we are going to learn how to be able to add a blog to your website so um, maybe you have a website and then you need you want to add a blog like this to your website and then you want also want to showcase um, a blog post on your website whereby people who land on your website can be able to see or blog post on your website or a snippet of the blog post on your website where when they even click on the blog over here they can also get access to it to see um, the blog post on your website just like this okay and then also um, to create how to create blogs just like this um, blog over here nice blog over here add pictures and other stuff to it that is what we are going to what that is what we are going to create now this video was requested by a subscriber of mine okay so um i'm doing this video specifically for that person and if this video helps you please leave a thumbs up and then subscribe to the channel okay now also if you have any video that you want me to what um to do you can also leave it in the comment below just comment the video and then if um I will, I will research on it and then do the video for you okay so let's jump into the video and let's start so let's say you have a website like this and you want to you know um, blog or have a blog on your website whereby people can visit your website and read certain things that you write on your website so in this video we are going to talk about how to create a blog and attach it to your website so that people can be able to um, visit your website and read about what you write so we are going to use this website to be able to um, do whatever we want to do okay so what we are going to do is we want to uh, you know this is the menu so we have the home about services bookings and contacts but we want a blog over there a blog page over there whereby we will be posting our blog post over there and that is what we are going to do in this video and then we we'll also showcase our blog post on the um, home page of our website so in this video we are going to learn how to create a blog and attach it to your website so that it will drive a lot of traffic to your website and then you can also monetize it to make s some money for your website so let's jump into it and let's go so first what we go is we go to our um, dashboard over here and then we have to create a page okay so we hover on pages we we'll click on add new now give a name to your blog page so I'm going to call it blog and then I'm not going to do anything again all I'm going to do is to click on publish okay so my blog is what is published my post is um, published over there my blog page is published so now let's take a look at how the blog page looks like now this is how it looks like okay this is our blog page now this page is serving as an archive page for all our blog posts that we are going to create okay so to make it function that way we have to go to appear um sorry settings over here okay go to reading click on reading and then post page okay over here we select the blog that we we created so we click on it to what to select it and then we click on save changes now this becomes our post page okay that is where all the blog posts that we are going to what 
we're going to create will be posted over there so let's refresh it again and see nothing happens okay because we haven't created anything okay so that is it now what we are going to do is we are going to create blog okay we're going to create blog now before we even create the blog let's position um, this page okay the blog page let's have it on the menu okay so what we're going to do is we go to appearance over here and add it to our menu so we go to appearance menus and then we add the page that we created to our menu so let's select the main menu let's choose the main menu and select it and then we look for the blog that we created so let's view all and this is the blog that we, we created and let's add it to our menu so it is over here now let's position it um, just after the services okay and then we click on save menu okay so we are good to go so now when we refresh the website we can see our blog located on our menu over here okay so guys we've done part one of everything this is almost like the major thing that you have to do to have a blog on your what on your website so we are done with it now the next part is to create blog post okay now to create blog post is very simple um, this time around we are not going to create a page okay but we are going to create posts okay so we're going to create post so all what we over here click on add new okay so we need to give a, a post or a blog that we are creating um, the post that we are creating we need to give it to it a, a title and then we write whatever we want to write over here so I'm going to write you know this is a travel website so I'm going to write you know this is a travel website so I'm going to write um, more anything about what travel okay so my first post I'm going to write is um, five oh, let me see five amazing places to visit in 2022 okay now you 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 create the post the way you want it so you have to give it you know your title and then the content what will follow okay so i'm going to you know create my post by copying some uh, you know some text over here okay i'm just going to copy some few text over here it is a random uh, dummy test okay so it doesn't matter how whatever i'm writing it's just a dummy um, content that I'm copying okay so guys this is it you can add pictures and whatever thing that you want you want to so if I want to add a picture to it I just click and then click on media library if I have the picture over here I'll just what I'll just add it to it okay just like this one the same way I can add you know add pictures to it to make it very nice to make it very nice okay so I'm gonna use this one add to it okay and then the last one will be here I'm gonna add one photo to it or picture to it and then I'm gonna use this one and then add it over here so you can see as you can see over here this is what um, our blog post okay now after we've done this one what we have to do is what to go to click on post over here and then scroll down and then look for featured image okay we have to set a featured image for our post so we click on it we click on set featured image 
and then we can choose any of the what um, the images that we use we set it as a featured image okay so we are done with it and all what we need to do is to click on publish now our post is what is created now let's take a look at how the post look like so guys as you can see this is how our post look like okay amazing so it says what five amazing places to visit in 2022 and this is the picture that we use as what as a um, um the featured image okay so that is it now let's do one thing one more thing let's go back to um the place now we have to set categories for it we did not do it okay so let's go to categories over here and then you know this one becomes what uncategorized okay so if you see the post over here it is what uncategorized it means that we didn't set any category for it okay so we can what decide to create any category depending on your niche and what you are creating you create category for it so we add new category and then i'll um, name this category travel destinations okay and then i'll just click on add category okay so i'm going to add i'm going to add a different what happened let me update it and refresh it again okay so it came over here so i'm going to add a different category so i'm going to say um maybe w um honeymoon honeymoon destinations okay and then i'll click on add and i'm going to add another one which is um how to okay so how to s okay so these are my categories so I have these three categories and then all what I need to do is to, to just click on update and then when I come and I refresh this page again let's see if the categories took place yeah so all these categories are assigned to this one but I want only the travel destinations to be assigned to it so I'll refresh the page okay and then I'll choose the categories well okay so i'm going to um disable this disable this okay and then i'll just use this one for it and then you can add tags okay so you can add tags so this is what travel and then comma i'm going to give it uh, maybe you know honeymoon okay and then maybe um you know all the destinations over here if you you choose any destination or whatever then you can just give the tax to it and then i'll just click on update okay so now let's come and then refresh it again and then see if what we did really happen yeah so as you can see this is what this is the travel destination okay this is a and then this is what the date that we wrote that um the the the, the post and then uh, by Kitech, okay. Now, when you go down, you're going to see the tags that we added to it also over here, okay. So, that is how you can be able to what, create a post. Now, if we go to our blog, you see that there is nothing over here, but when we refresh it, because we've created a post, when we refresh it, yes, as you can see, we have what we have this post over here okay now this one we can delete it so we can go to um all post over here and then just click on trash to delete that one we go to the trash and then we empty trash okay now let's come back over here to and refresh it and see we have only one post over there so you can use this method to create different 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 posts okay you to create 
any other post that you want okay now you see this one is really not really not nice okay so we can decide to also customize our post page okay so we go to all pages and then for the post page that we created okay so let's edit it so this page shows the current post because we've changed it so it shows the what the current what post that we what we created okay so um it is very hard to edit this post okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to give it a featured image and then i will um let me let me use yeah let me use this one and see okay i'm going to use this one and then i will go to appearance customize i'll go to customize and then try to customize the page from that side okay the post page from that side so let it load and then we customize it now that now that we are still waiting for the page to load guys um please like and subscribe to the video for us okay like and subscribe to the video i want you to to um you know just just subscribe it doesn't cost you anything okay just click on the subscription button and then you know like the video if you don't like the video just you know click on the dislike button twice okay just you know double tap it pow pow and then you will dislike it okay so let's go to this is the blog post as you can see over here okay now how do you want a single post to look like you can and then the archive lay in layout now this is the archive layout okay so that is what we are going to what we are going to try to customize it so let's go to the archive layout okay so this is how it's going to uh, you, you, you will do, uh, behave okay so this is how it behaves so um if you want a sidebar for it you can decide to uh, choose a sidebar for it okay now how you want how many posts do you want it to uh, to have you can also choose all those things okay so um we want it to have a sidebar okay and then yeah and then the content the way you want it you can either above content or in content anyhow you want it to behave okay and then um let's see we want this one this one this one okay now let me let me check through the ones that we feel like we want it and then if you want it to be box you what it is so at, at the moment it is what it is box okay it is box you can decide box you see that it, it the shape is what box if you don't want it that way you can decide to what you can decide to um you know remove it okay from there now you can the post item layout you can decide to what you know um on take some of them the ones that you you don't want to see so over here you have the category all these things over there okay so if you don't want the the name and then the date you can remove it from there okay so you go to meta okay and then the category you remove it if you don't want the category okay and then maybe you don't want the asset but it should be there since um people will get a snippet of what you are what you are um talking about and then you publish it now let's look through again and see okay okay so you go to design let's go to design and then with a the title okay you can what um the title color the description you know the archive title background okay so maybe you want it to be you know let's say blue color okay you can you know do it that way and then the background overlay anyhow you want it and then post title font that is the post title font how you want it to be like okay the site background the content background anyhow you want it to be like so the title since this one is blue i'm going to give this one also white now let's click on it and then let's come over here and refresh it and see 
if something happens yes so as you can see it is having what the blue background over here and then also what the um you know the sidebar okay but at the moment you give it a sidebar you realize that this one becomes what small okay so what we are going to do it we are going to um instead of three instead of um you know three columns we're going to make it just two columns okay we're going to make it two columns yeah okay and then you can make the container either full with or contain okay so at the moment it is what it is standard so we can publish it and then still come and then what refresh it so guys as you can see yes yeah, so you can add so many things and what customize it the way you want it so let's try and add another you know another um post to it so let's go to post and go to add new okay and this time around we are going to say we're going to add a different post which says what uh, maybe honeymoon destinations around the world okay so honey sorry honeymoon destinations around the world okay and then we'll still you know do the same thing as we did the first one we add some few content to it and then we also would add the images you know for people to what, get a view of our post so you can design your post anyhow you want it okay it depends on what it depends on you you the individual how you want it you can design your post anyhow you want it it depends on what on you and this is creating a blog okay so this is just creating a blog so you add some photos and images to it to make your blog what nice so that people can be able to what um, you know like it so you can create any kind of blog you can create um, an electronic blog you know a music blog um entertainment blog whatever blog that you want to what you want to create and then we go to post and then um we can select honeymoon okay and then also travel destinations because it is all travel and then we can give it to a, a tag which is maybe honeymoon and then travel travel and then anything that we want to add, maybe Singapore if you have Singapore in it okay anything that you want to what you want to add and then we give it what um, a featured we set a featured image for it so I'm going to set I'm going to set this featured okay no this one rather yeah I'm going to set this one rather or oh, let me choose the one that two people are over there so it is more or less like a honeymoon no I think this one is nice yeah so this one will be okay and then we publish it now the moment we publish it and we go to our blog and refresh it you realize that we have what the blog post over here so you see we have two blog posts now when we view it we can what people can read about it okay yeah people can also read about it now with a blog post you can decide to choose how you want the page to look like it depends on you okay now the theme that uh, you are using also depends on um you know helps you to be able to customize your your website the way you want okay so i am using the uh, um the um the cadence team okay the cadence team so it will be different from what kind of team that you'll be using and that is it now i'm going to add one more one more post and then we'll go ahead to um you know make sure that we display the post in the on the front page of our website okay that is it so 
this one will be um let's say okay so this one will be let's say um how to search for cheap flight how to search for free cheap flight online okay so cheap flight or talk about what travel so um, i'm still going to what so i'll just give it a dummy text now this is what just a dummy um text okay and then i'll add some you know few images to it just some few images that to make my web uh, my blog nice okay still going to choose some few images few images okay now because this one is about what about flight i want to you know um try to add um a picture of what the flight to it now to get a free picture okay we're going to use a website called pixabay so we go to pixabay okay www.pixabay.com you can search it on google okay so pixabay this one over here gives us what a free um you know a royalty free photo stock okay so we can search for photos images videos anything that we want music anything over here so we are going to look for let's say um flight okay so i can see one airplane over here i can see some airplanes over here yeah anything that i feel like it's okay for me i would i'll just pick it so i'm going to pick this one i'll click on it okay and then i'll click on free download and then i'll choose the size that i want so i just want this one i don't want it to be that big so let me choose this one and then i'll click on download and then it will download for me over here okay so i have my what my my image download now I want to use this image to set as what um, a featured image. So I click over here, choose the category that I want. Okay, so this is what how to. Okay, and then I'll still choose uh, travel destinations. Search, um, you know, add some tags to it. So let's say flights, cheap flights. Okay. And then I'll just click on what set featured image and then I'll drag this one over here. I'll upload it. If you don't know how to do it, I just dragged it to this place because it is over here. I just drag it over here. Or you can just click on upload over here and then click on what select files. It will be able to you can be able to select all the files that you want. So I have selected it and then I set it as what featured image. So I have it over here and then all what I need to do is to click on publish. Okay, so I have published our third um, post. Now let's go to our blog page and just refresh the page. And yes, we have it over here. Okay, so we have what? Three posts. Okay, so we want to show the three posts on our home page. Okay uh three posts so so we want so that any post that we create at least uh, the first three will be showing on our home page okay so we are going to show it over here okay so i'm going to show it on this page so what i'm going to do is i use elementor to create this page so i'm going to click on what edit with elementor i'll click over here if you if you feel like you can you don't you don't see the edit with Elementor over there don't worry just go to your back end go to pages okay go to pages and then if you created your 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 website with elementor definitely you know what i'm talking about and then you look for the home page this is the home page and then you realize that it is what edit with elementor over here okay or when you click on edit you see edit with elementor in it okay so that is it so we are going to what edit it with elementor okay so this is what um our what elementor page over here now what we are going to do is yeah we want it to appear here okay so we create a session over here we click on the plus session to create a session over here 
and then we click on this plus again and then what we are going to do is we're going to um pick this one which is what um a single column session we're going to pick this one over here okay now what i'm going to do is i'll click on this um, nine icon over here okay and then i'll search for blog okay you see this one blog post right i'll just drag it over here now by the way this blog post comes with what um how do you call it it comes with um, 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 um element kit okay so if you don't have element kits in it it will be very hard for you to have this um kind of blog post over here so guys as you can see it is showcasing all the blog posts uh, that we've created we created on the post over here so at the moment this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like now we can decide to create a different page all alone for the blog post to be you know to be shown over there okay now let's um, try and then customize the look and feel of it and then see what will happen so let's go to we want it to be in a grid format like this okay we want it like this okay we want it to show like this and then um we have to just you know uh, do some settings for it so we want to what uh, if you want to show content you can what show content okay if you want to show read more to you can what show read more okay so for me i would i would don't want to show the read more because the i can click somebody can click over here to uh, to view the um the post okay so i don't want to show read more and then the image position how do you want it you can place it on the top or at the left okay anyhow you want it at the top is okay and then the image size too you can what you can do the way and then the post per page how you want it okay you can also what arrange it the same way you want it so three is what is good and then you want to show title and then we also want to what want to show some few ways so if you don't want to show the content we can what just ignore it and then make it just this way okay just this way but i will want to show um some few content so let me say 25 yeah I reduce the text to let's say 25 okay or uh, let me say 20 or uh, yeah 20 let me see yeah so 20 is quite okay 20 is looking it's looking slick and good okay so now the query we come to query now query talks about what um the categories okay so um do you want to select all categories or you want to showcase some few categories over here you can also what showcase or whatever you want so if you click on here and then we delete the how to you realize that we will not have any how to thing over there it's supposed to what delete okay but because um we have travel destination in it it will still be there you realize it okay so it is only the honeymoon which is what which is left but when we click on how to when we click on how to it's supposed to what the second one is supposed to come okay now when we also click on travel destination the third one what will join because that one also have what the travel destination so you can show all your categories because we just want uh, first three to show over here okay to show on our what on our home page and that is it now we go to the meta now if you want to show floating date you can show so if we click on it we can decide to show um, date as you can see over here okay or we can even change it the way we want it so we want to show it like this you can show depends on how you want it okay so something like this so that it will sh it will let people know how current you are okay but if you don't want people to also know um your the the time or the date you ro you wrote this bl uh, blog post you can just you know decide to ignore it 
okay over there but i want to show the floating date and then if you also want to show floating category you can also what show it so as you can see the category is on top okay but i don't want to show what any category and then if you want to show meta you can also what show it but this meta um rely on the settings that we did for the blog post okay so because we said we don't want to show meta even when you show the meta over here it doesn't really appear over here so that is it so it is better we ignore it okay so now let's go to the style to style the layout of um the 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 uh, blog post card over here so now let's look at it this is the wrapper okay so um we have the background type okay now we're going to you know you see how it behaves this is what the background type okay so if you want it you know the way you want it or how you want it you can what you can decide to what showcase it but because our website is almost like um, a sea blue color you want to use this kind of like sea blue thing to represent everything that we are what we are doing okay so we, we choose this sea blue thing yeah something like this okay yeah so so guys everything is what um you know perfectly done now all what we need to do is to you know if you want to also change the color of this ones this um you know title over here you can also do it okay so you go to title and then you can change the the, the font size the typography everything and the color okay so if you want to you know make it red you can make it red if you want to uh, make it black you can make it what black okay i think the black is what is okay for me yeah so you can what you can make it what black any color you want to make it you can what make it and then you can also change the font size the 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 typography the font size y the font you know uh, family you can change everything so let me say poppins so i want it to be what poppins and then i'll say maybe 20 yeah so you realize that everything has what has changed okay so guys that is it so everything is what working perfectly now i just want to give a small space down here okay so i'll click over here and then go to advance and then at the bottom i want to give it what 50 or 60. yeah okay so so that there will be space at the bottom okay wouldn't touch it so perfectly i think the space over here is more than the space down here so let me increase it to let's say 90 yeah okay so in web designing spacing is what is really important it makes your website unique and slick so guys this is um exactly how you can be able to add a blog to your website now all what you need to do is to click on update to update it and then let's take a look at our website this is what view page we're going to view the page so our website is what is all right yeah so this is what this is it now when we click on one of the posts it goes to the post that we created okay yeah and then when we click on the blog we also see our uh, what all the blog posts that we what we have on the website okay now with the sidebar you can customize it the way you want it yeah it depends on how you want it so um this is how you can be able to add a blog to your what to your website now this video was requested for from um someone um some of the some of my subscribers so that is why i created this video especially for for that person okay so um i hope this one helps and thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and let's go together see you in the next video bye bye